At a certain company, a test was given to a group of men and women seeking promotions. If the average score for the group was 80, was the average score for the women greater than 85? Statement number one tells us that the average for men is less than 75. Well, by itself, that's not helpful because we don't know if this is a company where there are 97% men or only 2% men. We have no idea. So because we don't know how many men there are, that knowing that the men have an average less than 75 doesn't really help us figure out anything about the women. So this statement by itself is insufficient. Statement number two says the group consists of more men than women. So men is greater than women. Well, that's great, but that statement alone tells us nothing about anyone's score. So that statement by itself is insufficient. But now when we combine the statements, it gets interesting. When we combine the statements, we know that there are more men than women and the men had an average score of less than 75. So let's think about this for a minute. Suppose there were an equal number of men and women. And if the men had a score of 75, the women would also have a score of 75. That's what would happen if they both had equal number. Well, if there are more men, then what that would do, more men at 75, that would mean that the number, the score for the women would have to be above 85 to balance it out. Or if there were an equal number of men and their score were less than 75, that would also mean that the women would have to be above 85 to balance it out. Well, the fact that there are more men and their score is less than 75 has a double whammy effect of increasing the women above 85. So we definitely know that the average for women is above 85. So we are able to answer the prompt question definitively with the combined statements. We have sufficient information now, and the answer is C.